Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to write a burglar alarm system. You can start learning about microcontroller from this project. Because I will do it step by step. Let's get started. In this project, we will learn how to build a burglar alarm system using ESP32 and vibration sensor. This project is perfect for enhancing the security of your things which you don't want to thief to touch, like your car, your bicycle, or even the door in your house. All we need are ESP32, piezoelectric, and pulsar. Let's talk about ESP32. The main character of this project, ESP32, is a powerful microcontroller developed by Express System. It is integrated the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules inside with low power consumption and easy to program it. It's a good choice for smart device and industrial application. Do you know what it called piezo electricity? It is the property of a certain material that deforms when an electric field is applied. This is facts is used in various applications like a piezo pulsar or humidifier. It also works in reverse. This material generates an electric charge when pressure or mechanical stress is supplied to them. So, we can use them to make a vibration sensor for this project. You see, when I touch the piezo, the voltage in the field amp will change it magically. So, we can use ESP32 to read that chain of that voltage from the piezo to detect if any thief to touch the things you want to protect. Here is the schematic of my project. CBO36 of ESP connect with one pin of the piezo and another pin of the piezo we connect with the CND. Two pins of the pulsar we connect with the CBO32 and CND. Now we use Arduino IDE to program for ESP32. First, we will define a pin for the piezo. In here, I use CBO36 to read the sensor. You should choose analog pin on ESP32 instead of the normal CPU to read the piezo more accurately because the data from the piezo is analog signal. Zero begin 9600. Have begin bring the value out of the stream. Define the variable to say the value of the sensor. Analog read function is used to read the value from pin 36. Next, we will bring the value just read to the screen. A last delay with 100 milliseconds in here to avoid ESP32 overload because run the loop too fast. And then click the upload button to upload the program to ESP32. After we see done uploading, ESP32 is started to run our program. We will open the serial plotter to see the value change clearly but you can try to see the value in serial monitor. Here you can see, we could read the value from the sensor successfully. Continue to roll around a function create high frequency for Bubster can create beef, beef, beef to warning when anybody unconcerned touching your burglar alarm system. First, we will define a pin to connect with the Bubster. You can choose any CBO pin you want. In here, I choose CBO32. Second, we will set up the mouse for this pin as output.
Next, we define the frequency of the pulsar. I think 3300 hex is appropriate. And then divide the time between two beeps. Create a buffer circle variable to set the circle between 0 and 1 logic of the buffer pin in microsecond unit. Define warning function. In this function, I need 3 pips. So, I have to create a loop outside of the loop creating high frequencies. Finally, we create a loop to raise high frequency for pips. You this is the right function to set the pin pulsar to height. and create a delay by using delay microseconds. Set the pin to low. Add another delay Don't forget to use a delay function to create a separation between two beeps. In here, we will call the warning function to test the sound of the pulsar. The sound from the pulsar will like this. Similarly, we will continue to create a function to alarm when thief try to steal your thing. Now we need the interval between two beeps shorter. Define burglar alarm function. Because of two functions are mostly the same, so I will copy this. And change the number of pips to 30 times. And then shorten the pip. Change the interval to the interval tiff. Finally, we call the function to see the result. The sound we will like this.
Now we will combine sensor reading and alarm functions together. We will define a Boolean variable to say the state of the system. It starts with fail because nothing is detected by the sensor. Next, we define a variable to say the previous warning time to decide on the warning or the burglar alarm function. We will place this variable here to update the time whenever the function is called by using the list function with the return at the present time and another one in the burglar alarm function. After finishing the warning, we will restore the state of the detected variable to fail for the next detection. In the main loop, after reading the sensor value, we will compare if the value greater than 30 because the sensor can raise some noise, resulting the value reached can greater than 0 and though nobody touched the sensor. With the true condition, the detected variable will be said to be true. and the recent time is taken. The if inside compare if two detected time on two sock. In this situation is 10 seconds. It will be called the burglar alarm function instead of warning function. Now everything is done. Let's see the result. You see, warning function is called, and the burglar alarm function is called. In this time, burglar alarm function is also called because the time between two detectives is shorter than 10 seconds. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, give me a like and subscribe for more.